there really is nothing better than like some good moderate dome. When there's too much dome, things get a little squirrely out there. Can't really control it. What is up guys? Today we're gonna be playing nine holes with nothing but birdie disc golf supply. They currently have four discs in their lineup. They got the Marvel, which is a putter. I'm gonna be putting this one, throwing that one. They got the Reach, which is a distance driver. I'm gonna be throwing this one. This is also the prototype before the retooled version. We might bust this one out as well. They got the Strike. I'm sure you guys know this one, pretty popular mold. They're kind of T-Bird-ish 7502 fairway driver. And then my favorite, the Ultra. What I would consider to be the best overstable mid-range on the market. Oh, I mean, it went really straight. I just kind of Shout out to Bills Bay Marina for hooking it up with the bag. Gotta start with a good putt here. Hopefully get the birdie, because if you don't get the birdie on hole one, what are you even doing? So here's the base plastic Marvel 2301, kind of your classic, just like deep dish style putter. Very glidey putter here. If you watch my in the bag, you would know the Marvel is one of the putters I'm currently kind of trying out for the putting putter slot in my bag. I thought this was so much further. It was basically parked. Hello and welcome to the 25 Days of Frismas presented by Birdie Disc Golf Supply. Birdie hooked it up by supporting the next 25 videos. Head on over to their website, use code Frisbee Club to save yourself some money. They got Frisbee Club patches, they got Frisbees, as well as my favorite mid-range, the Color Glow Ultra. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hope you guys are enjoying the 25 Days of Frismas. Guys, head over to Birdie's site. They hooked it up this month. Support them. Grab yourself an Ultra. I'm telling you, if you're looking for something to replace your Buzz OS, because I know you are, that disc is trash, grab an Ultra. You're not going to regret it. It's the most pushing, like, torque-resistant, overstable mid. It actually goes somewhere, but you're never going to burn it over. Next hole is 318, a little turnover. We're going to go with the Strike. The Strike is the one disc in Birdie's lineup that I'm not super familiar with. We're going to see if it holds a nice little left-to-right turn. Oh, that looks really nice. Get in the hole. Oh my. That was good. That was a really good flight. Maybe I've been sleeping on the strike. I don't know. You know, you guys might know, but Danza loves the strike. It's kind of been his like go-to fairway driver and tons of other people throw him. Like I said, I've just never really given it a shot, but that, that flight was beautiful. This is probably the trickiest green to land on this course. Obviously the OB little gravel pit right there. Went a little bit deep here. No! Oh, I thought I was gonna sneak it over. Good thing about going OB right here. You just take it right there. Well, that sucks, back to even. I think we're gonna go with another strike hyzer, kind of up over the right side here. I like that a lot. Get in the hole. Am I? Yeah. If you started throwing the Ultra because of me, comment down below what you've liked about it, what disc it maybe kicked out of your bag. Let's, let's convince the people to get on the Ultra train. It's literally like my favorite disc. Am eyes, but only by like two feet. So is that really am eyes? Back to one down, let's go. We're gonna go Marvel here. Power grip, hang it kind of left, hope that it drifts a little bit right. Got a little breeze coming through here. Turn, ah, that should be left enough that it's safe, but these marvels are pretty much brand new. I got them maybe a week ago and you know, there's not a tree in sight out here. So I haven't really smacked anything with them yet other than the chains, just for a little bonus toss. I'm gonna go flex line with the ultra, kind of swing it down and then hopefully it skips back up. Yeah. See guys, that is just a beautiful flight. Ah, oh, bad hillside jump, but man. Guys, if two holes on this course didn't play to this basket, I think I would average like two strokes better. Give me a raised basket and I'm not gonna get nerdy with it. <laughs> oh, the two OB strokes. This like little OB, I am not a fan of OB when it's inside the circle, to be honest. <laughs> well, uh, two bogeys on this same basket, RIP. 
I never quite know what to do on this hole because you can obviously just take the big hyzer, simple shot, relatively high percentage, or you can go with like the up the gut, kind of flip up, a little bit tighter line, but more satisfying shot. Flip, nope, gosh. How do you hit a first available on this course? Oof. Yeah, I should have just took the easy way out. Go in the hole. Oh, straight into the tree. Still circles edge. <laughs> All right, hopefully you can see the basket up in there. We're gonna go, we're gonna go Marvel. Just a little, little like steppy spinner here. Oh, did I just throw it straight into the tree? Okay, we're good. Oh, that, that almost went in, holy shit. First par of the day. I guess we're trending in the better direction after that bogey. All right, y'all know this whole 170 feet, absolute ace run. We're gonna throw both our putters here. Try and ring one up. You know the Frisbee Club rules. If you throw a second one and it aces, it counts. If it doesn't, doesn't matter. I might do it. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Gotta grab a birdie here. Let's fix this chain. Yeah. That felt nice. 521, par four, nothing like a soft par four. Hopefully snag a little birdie three here. Swirly reach, just gonna smack it hard. A Little bit of hyzer, hopefully flip it up end to the left. Nothing too crazy. Ooh. Not bad. A little ultra up shot. So if you watched my video from a few days ago, kind of going over the reach, comparing it to the destroyers, you know that like that swirly orange one that I got is hopefully what they're gonna be releasing as the stock reach coming first quarter of next year. I'm excited for that one. Just your bomber, 12.5, negative one, three. Ma great feeling plastic. Feels good, flies good. I'm excited for that one. All right, decent little drive here with the reach. Just gonna take the ultra, chip it up there. Oh yeah, for the birdie three. Let's try and throw the marble in, why not? Drop, crushed it. Look at that thing, not the craziest dome, just your good moderate dome. There really is nothing better than like some good moderate dome. When there's too much dome, things get a little squirrely out there. Can't really control it. The ultra is parked for the birdie three, but let's see if we can knock down this putt. Why not? Another birdie there brings us to two under. Let's see, we're gonna go ultra. Spike Heiser out over the road. Swing her back. Ah, wind kind of got under it. I think it's gonna be a little left. We can make that, we can make that. Little 20 footer here. Marvel, knockdown. Absolutely nerdy. Let's go. Two more holes, we're actually gonna play 10 of them because that's just the way the loop brings us back to the front. We got a par three here and another par four to end. 283, we're gonna take the marvel here. Hit it on a power grip. Hopefully get it to flip up, kind of go straight. Basically the basket is in line with me about two feet right of that light pole. Oh. I love that. Oh, if you watched the video before this where I was kind of working on my backhand form, the form is feeling smooth. It's feeling good. It's feeling somewhat powerful, as powerful as I feel like my body can be right now. Feeling like very direct and forward, like I can throw some nice straight lines right now. Happy with it. We'll come back here, went a little bit deep. Well, I was absolutely saved by the uh, the Glow Golf topper thing there because I was going 35 deep. Followed through, rather miss high than low, I guess. Dang it. Sitting at two down, would be good to get to three. Not the hottest showing out here at the old Ironwood. Not gonna try and overdo this, but gonna try and get a nice little flex on it. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. I feel decent in the rocks again. Those are literally identical. So this hole's 513 feet, obviously slightly downhill once you kind of crest this first 150 feet. But the rocks that I put both of those into are maybe 60 feet short. So I feel like those shots are going over 400, which is, I'll take anything that trickles over 400 nowadays. Those two throws felt nice, felt smooth and controlled as well. Like I said, the form is for once, for the first time in months right now, don't quote me on this, but it's feeling all right. Well, unfortunately we win OB, we'll, we'll keep her honest here. So we got this for our birdie putt. <sighs> Come on, oh, good layup. Well, well guys, not the cleanest round out here. I feel like my uh, OB putts and a couple other missed putts obviously kind of hurt the score. Felt like, I feel like I was actually throwing the disc pretty well though through some solid lines out here today once again guys shout out to birdie disc golf supply for sponsoring the 25 days of frizzness they hooked it up go check out the birdie disc golf supply color glow ultra if you're gonna check one out check that thing out use my code broderick save yourself 10 percent off supports me supports them gets you a really good frisbee that i can almost guarantee that you're gonna love all right guys that's enough uh pushing the ultra for this one <laughs> but trust me it's a good one thanks for watching see you next one Feet right there, guys. Let me show you another driving technique. 